Hello there, welcome to my channel. I'm Tatenda Henani. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can set up your camera. So you just got a new camera and you just wanna know how to set it up, whether for beauty videos, for DIY videos or just for sitting videos like I'm doing and talking to you right now. So I'm just gonna show you the best basic settings that you can have so that you get the best quality and a clean image all the way so that you can be satisfied, one that complements you or the subjects that you're trying to shoot. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is your lens. Every camera that you have, no matter what type of camera you have, has a kit lens. And that kit lens varies from 16 millimeters all the way to 55. So anything that's in between is still fine. So if you have anything that's from 16, 17 or 18 millimeters, it means that the lens is at its widest, which means it shows more. And that's usually your background, your environment. If you're outside, it's basically the landscape. And when you zoom in all the way to 55 or somewhere in between, it means that you're getting closer to you or the subject that you're trying to shoot. So it's just good to just know what kind of lens you are dealing with. So the best lens you can have is an STM lens, which basically means it's a stepping motor lens. What that means is that when your camera is auto-focusing, it won't make any irritating noise or interruptive noise when you're trying to get your point through or do whatever that you are doing. The next thing that also is important when it comes to your lens is image stabilization. And this comes in handy when you're vlogging. You know, you don't want that shaky footage. You just want something straightforward. If you're vlogging, it's not gonna be all over the place. It's gonna be really rigid and steady. And it means that your quality is gonna be great. And my last point, when it comes to the lens is very important keep your lens on autofocus and on face detection because that's very very important continuous autofocus face detection whatever happens the camera stays on your face if you put anything trying to show products if i put my hand in front of me it's gonna focus on my hand as soon as i take it off then it's gonna go back to my face because it's following my face and focusing on nothing else so now that we're done with all the things you need to know about your lens we're going to move on to the main settings that you really need to focus on which is your aperture your iso and your shutter speed so what you want to do when it comes to aperture is to set it to the lowest number that your camera has it can be 2.8 1.8 put it at the lowest so that you get the cleanest image ever you want quality and you want your image not to have any noise or grain just to look crispy clear the second thing you want to do is to make sure that your shutter speed is at 50 and i emphasize 50 is a good point to put your shutter speed so that your image is not too slow or not too fast it's just at the right normal pace the last thing is your iso you put your iso at the lowest number that is comfortable for you if you're a bit underexposed you can raise the iso a little bit but just make sure it's at a good spot where you do not have grain or any noise because what you don't want is when you finish shooting whatever that you're shooting you've got your point through you've done everything that you want to do then you notice that you have grain that is something that you cannot even fix with your iso you want to keep it at your lowest your lowest being 100 and you do not want to go over 800 so anything in between you can just play around to see where you have the perfect image what's working for you no noise no grain then the next point is to keep your white balance on auto because you want your complexion to look right how you look is how you should come out on camera and everything that you're going to be using, using makeup it's very crucial that the makeup colors don't look different from the palette you're using so now we are moving on to picture style which is very important in the way that you set yourself up so the picture style that you want to pick is portrait portrait is meant for a single subject something that's close and not landscape or not all other settings and if you don't like the settings on portrait because portrait has its own settings when it comes to brightness contrast saturation and sharpness you can also make your own custom picture style so you can just choose how you want to set it up play around and see what works with your skin what works with the environment and what works with what you're trying to get through once you have that custom picture style set up you can save it and every time you are recording you put that picture style and you have nothing else to worry about so last but not least we're going to talk about sound sound is very vital to your whole 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 production if you have good sound and you might not have the best quality image People will stay because the sound is crisp and it's clear. What you have to do is get an external microphone to help your sound because the sound that comes off the camera naturally 
is not of the best quality so if you get an external microphone it will record separately and it will give you good sound an example of that will be a lapel microphone one that you can attach on your body and also put maybe on a phone or attach directly to the camera and it will record you very nicely the next thing is to get an on-camera microphone which you attach directly onto your camera you don't have to worry about attaching cables and everything else elsewhere on your phone or on a recorder because as you are doing the video everything is being recorded directly so i'm just going to do a practical example on the sound and the difference that you're going to get using the sound directly from the camera and one with the mic so this is the quality you get when you're not using an external microphone as you can see i took off the mic and i'm holding it here very very fluffy so this is the quality you get when you're now using an external microphone that is attached to the camera compared to the sound when there is no external microphone the difference is basically night and day so you can just invest in an external microphone that you can afford that is according to your price point i will also put the links of everything that i will be using from the camera to the mics that i have in the links below so you can check them out and see what will work for you so sadly this is the end of the video i hope you found this video helpful and the tips that i shared with you helpful because at the end of the day no matter what camera you have if you do not know how to set it up you're going to have problems with how you're going to look and the quality that you want and you don't want to be disappointed when you invest into camera gear because camera equipment is expensive so you want to get the big camera that you've always dreamt about and you switch it on and you're like okay why is it not working why am i not looking a certain way so let's have a discussion in the comments below on maybe how you set up your camera and please please do share this video with other people that you feel might need to know how to set up their camera and i will be seeing you in my next fabulous video do not forget to give this video a thumbs thumbs up and yes mwah, mwah, mwah.